If the pro-Israel position was based on truth and morality, it wouldn't depend on lies and slander. If your position is based on truth and morality, you don't need to make up lies to defend it, and you don't need to hurl false accusations at those who disagree with it. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't need to circulate bogus atrocity propaganda about decapitated babies, babies cooked in ovens, and murdered pregnant women. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't have to circulate lies claiming actual dead Palestinian babies in Gaza are plastic dolls. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't have to falsely present phony audio clips as intercepted Hamas communications and claim they exonerate you of war crime allegations. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't have to circulate lies and propaganda about the hospitals you plan to attack being secret Hamas headquarters. If your position was based on truth and morality, your official government social media accounts wouldn't have to keep deleting posts after getting caught circulating lie after lie. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't have to circulate amazingly cringy propaganda videos like Israeli children singing about how great it will be to destroy Gaza and Israeli women doing yoga over the pictures of Israeli hostages. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't find yourself engaged in bizarre mental contortions trying to pretend history began on October 7th while sweeping all the mountains of murder and abuse which led up to it under the carpet. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't have to keep pointing at something that happened months ago to defend what you've been doing in the present moment and all the days since. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't need to resort to hurling false accusations of anti-Semitism at those who criticize your side instead of producing robust counter-arguments. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't need to resort to accusing those who disagree with you of supporting terrorism and serving Hamas instead of defending your position like a normal adult. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't need to lie and claim that long-standing pro-Palestine slogans are actually calls for the genocide of Jews to try and get them silenced. If your position was based on truth and morality, you wouldn't feel the need to censor and silence everyone who disagrees with you online, on college campuses, and on all platforms of major influence. If your position was based on truth and morality, you would get curious and do some self-examination when young people overwhelmingly reject that position, instead of insisting that the young people are the problem and trying to kill TikTok and cancel demonstrations. If your position was based on truth and morality, you would be defending it with facts, logic, and rational argumentation instead of vitriol, online troll mobs, and incendiary false accusations. If your position is based in truth and morality, you can behave in a truthful and moral way when defending it, instead of doing the exact opposite.